Hello everyone and welcome back to the Miser's Guide to Ebony. In today's video we are talking about Keep24. We're going to discuss the required buildings and resource costs. We're going to talk about the unlocked buildings and features. We're going to think ahead to future Keep levels and we will uh, discuss some recommendations that I might have for you at this stage of development. First off, the building requirements for Keep24, you're going to need to have completed Walls 23 already, as well as Staples 23. The resource requirements for the Keep alone, just Keep24, are now 22 million food, 27 million lumber, 28 million stone, and 28 million ore. The resource requirements for the Keep with the addition of the Walls 23 and Staples 23 are 42.9 million food, 52.3 million lumber, 53.6 million stone, and 53.4 million ore. Unlocked buildings, uh, not a whole lot going on, but the unlocked features, finally we do have something here. There's an item called the Royal Way Bill. And way back in uh, an earlier video, I think it was around Keep 11 or Keep 6, or I don't know, somewhere in the early days, um, I did talk about the ability to receive uh, items and so on from the Royal Waybill. Um, that means that other players could use their Royal Waybills to send items to you. Not every item can be sent. Um, there are exceptions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but now at Keep24, you have unlocked the ability to be the person that sends items. You couldn't do that previously, now you can. Now you can not only receive, but you can also send. Um, so that is uh, an option, and that also includes the ability to send advanced Royal Waybills, which can be uh, purchased through packs and so on, and you can also get it by composing Royal Waybills. So if you go in your items and you click on a Royal Waybill, there's a button for Compose that turns three, no, I don't know. I don't remember how many. Uh, most of them are three, but uh, Royal Waybills was, is probably 10 because the Advanced Royal Waybill sends 10 items. Um, so it's just a way of combining a bunch of one by one Waybills into 10 at once kind of Waybill. Uh, I don't know if I explained that well enough, but uh, you can take a look just by clicking on it and reading the text on what the Royal Waybill does. Okay, thinking ahead, uh, Academy... 24 is required for Keep 25. You should be working on your academy anyway because um, I did mention a few times that you want to be uh, keeping that academy up up uh, as high as possible to work on that research that you're going to want, which is the uh, 5th March that you'll unlock at Keep 25. Um, another building like the academy that I don't tell you to upgrade, but you should be doing is your warehouse. You want to keep your warehouse as high as possible to keep the protected resource limit high so that you don't have to bubble. Because if your resources are below that amount, then nobody can take the resources from you. And that means that if you have no military, no resources to be stolen, there's no reason to bubble. You can save a lot of gems and a lot of uh, tokens for 24-hour truce agreements uh, for the future when you will actually will need them. Um, okay, so Academy 24, Keep 25, Watchtower 25 with an asterisk, um, meaning that you also need to do Farm 25. So Watchtower 25 and Farm 25 for Keep 26. Rally Spot 26 and Army Camp 26 for Keep 27. Art Hall 27 for Keep 28. All right. Next up, we're going to talk about uh, just general commentary and recommendations for this stage. Um, some of this stuff is pretty much the same as I've said in the last two videos. If you have Wheel of Fortune tokens, consider using those uh, to get uh, the skill books and gems and stamina and stuff. It's all useful. So if you do have an excess of those, then go ahead and use those. Um, if you have been lucky enough to get scroll chests for King's Gear and you've gotten some King's Rings, um, then I highly suggest that you build the Fearless King's Rings so you can equip them on the generals that you're sending out to bosses. Um, and, uh, you know, even if you if you have multiple, like you got three, uh, three scrolls, then you might consider speeding those up because in the end, the 
rings equipped is going to, they're going to pay themselves off, especially for the first one or two because they're going to get a lot of use. Um, start to also think about upgrading your pasture. Last video, I I think it was uh, Keep 21, I told you to upgrade your pasture to 11 so you could unlock the Bird of Hurricane. Um, but at Keep 26, I think, Keep 26, you're going to unlock the ability to get your first dragon. Um, if you have a lot of gems and, uh, and you're ready to get your dragon, then you can do that. Um, but it's not a rush. So that's why I say start to think about upgrading your pasture. Eventually you will want to get your dragon because they're just a whole lot better than spirit beasts uh, for PVP and so on. Um, but if you don't have a lot of gems, then I wouldn't rush it. It's not a ne necessary thing. It's just a, a consideration for the future. You can upgrade your pasture uh, up to 26 and, uh, and then eventually you're going to want to get it 32 to unlock another drag. Okay, uh, thank you to all the channel members, the subscribers, everybody watching. Thank you everyone out there for supporting the Miser's Guide to Ebony. If you do want to become a channel member and support the channel, uh, then click the join button and check out the membership perks. I will see you in the next video.